My name is Michael Embacher. I come from Vienna, Austria, Europe, and I collect bicycles. I have over 200 bicycles in my attic in Vienna, and 40 of them found their way to the Portland Art Museum. We have commuter bicycles, we have cargo bicycles, we have racing bicycles, we have track bikes, we have one very old recumbent, and we have prototypes from the 20s to the 80s. I don't look after special kind of bicycles. If I find a fantastic one, perhaps I couldn't resist, but I hope I do. This bicycle is a BSA parachuter. It's made from Birmingham Small Arms in England. It was made for World War II and it was first used in the legendary D-Day. It was a collapsible bicycle. They were thrown down from the plane with a parachute hanging upside down. And after landing, the soldiers took the bicycle to uh, go further. The next one is the world famous Lotus bicycle. Um, on this bike there were taken many world records were won on this bicycle. It's a wonderful piece of art because it was a new uh, frame material, carbon fiber. And this is a fantastic bicycle where um, the engineer and the company and the, the designers may, uh, made a big effort to won everything that was possible with a completely new bike and this happened and that's why I like this bike. This one is the ice bike. Um, it is made by an old man in Vienna. It is a custom-made bike and I had a wonderful uh, experience because I drove that on a, f on a frozen lake and it was foggy and it was, was completely white and there was uh, I didn't see any horizon and it's like rebirthing. It was a fantastic experience to drive that bicycle. This one is the Richard Zappa bicycle. Richard Zappa is a famous designer. He worked for Alessi and for IBM and he made studies how could a human being be very fast in the city and he found out that the fastest way would be to go with a bike to the official transport and this bicycle folds up very fast like an umbrella and it's the work of 10 years studies and it works fantastic although it's a prototype because it's very expensive to produce. Here we have the Bianchi C4. It looks like a comic. It's very futuristic. It's also the logo of my collection. It has a no junction frame and I love it very much because it's very spacey. It is indeed very fast and it looks really gorgeous. Here we have uh, Alex Moulton bicycle. Alex Moulton was a British engineer um, who invented the rubber suspension for the famous Mini and at the same time he used this uh, invention for small wheeled bicycle. These were the first full suspended bicycles in, in theory produced and here in the exhibition in Portland we have the titanium version. It is made in America under um, permission of Alex Moulton and it is the only one in the world.